today's the day. That means that Mighty Mouse is on the way. Enthusiasts, welcome to another video about early radio from the Roaring Twenties Antique Radio Museum. Today we'll showcase the Sears SR2 receiver. In 1924, Sears began selling the SR2 receiver. It was a one-tube regenerative receiver. This advertisement from Sears shows the SR2 with all the accessories needed to set it up and start enjoying it, listed at just $22.35, which was quite a bargain. As you can see, you could buy just the radio for considerably less. No known sales records exist for the SR2, but it's a rarely seen radio today, which suggests it was not a big seller. While Sears sold the radio under their name, it was actually built for Sears by the Crosley Radio Company of Cincinnati, Ohio. A look inside the radio shows the typical Crosley construction tightly packed into what may be the smallest wood cabinet radio ever built in the 1920s. The Crosley Pup, which had a stamped steel cabinet, was slightly smaller. While originally designed for the WD-12 tube, considered by most a fairly mediocre tube, the SR2's performance can be substantially improved with a UV-200 gas detector tube. In fact, using a high emission UV-200 tube will enable the SR2 to drive a speaker horn with decent volume, which is pretty amazing for a single tube radio in the early 20s. For its small size and audio output, we've given the SR2 the nickname of Mighty Mouse. That's it for this video. There will be more to come as we continue to investigate the early history of the world's first mass medium, radio. Before we go, let's listen once more to the Mighty Mouse of radios, and I thank you for watching. Save the day! That means that Mighty Mouse is on the way!